before and we're just so happy that we are I hope everybody has rested from the night before. So today we are having a very interesting conversation with ABB, the leader in electrification products, robotics and motion, industrial automation and power grids, serving customers and in utilities, industry and transport and infrastructure globally. So we're so excited to tell you more about what's going to be happening in the first ABB Digital Summit uh, happening last week of the month from July 26 to 29. So without further ado, I would like to turn over the floor to the corporate, the country communications manager of ABB, Ms. Barbette Sullivan. Hi, Charms. Good afternoon. Let me just have a few minutes. I'm trying to <laughs> open my camera. Let me just open it for you. Okay. Taking off my mask. Safety is very, um, very much observed in ADB. So even if while doing, <laughs> doing this um, online uh, videos and um, conversations, we are observing safety every time. So again, good morning, everyone. And thank you for joining us this morning for our first um, media engagement for this year. We are very happy to uh, share this very fine Thursday morning with you. And at this point, I will be sharing with you the ADB's group profile. Let me just know if you can see the presentation from your respective ends. I will just uh, Take off my camera so that, you know, uh, just to ensure that the bandwidth is stable and consistent. I will be putting it off so that I can share with you now the screen. Let me know if you can see it from your respective ends. Charms, please give me a feedback. Okay, so you're starting to share your slide, Barbs. Okay, we can see the slides already, but yeah, perfect. Okay, so good morning, everyone. We are ADB and we are uh, ADB Inc. here in the Philippines. This is our tagline, let's write the future together. So this slide um, is showing you that ADB is a leading global technology company which energizes the transformation of society and industry to achieve a more productive and sustainable future. By connecting software to its electrification, motion, process automation, and robotics and discrete automation portfolio, ADB is pushing the boundaries of technology to drive performance to new levels. So you can see here we are well positioned across global markets. Uh, we identify here how many employees we have. Uh, we have more than 105,000 employees spread across 100 countries, which generates um, this. Uh, amount of revenue, okay? And it has been pushing the boundaries of technology for more than 130 years. It is very evident in the photos that we are sharing with you here. We have seen the movement from black and white. We have seen the process from um, big engines to a now more compact form of technology. So the um, following our purpose and leveraging our strong positions in electrification, motion, process automation, and robotics and discrete automation, we aim to create a superior value for all of our stakeholders. You will understand that this is one of the um, river, uh, recurring, recurring uh, concepts in our presentation, particularly uh, something that's echoed from our company. As the ADB way is our lever to implement our strategy. We believe by pushing the boundaries of technology and embedding sustainability in everything we do, 
our people drive the performance of our market, leading and empowered businesses to new levels. And together with our common values, strong brand work and governance frame framework, the ABB way will be leading us to become a more focused, successful, and value-creating company. So as I have initially uh, mentioned a while ago, our business areas is, uh, are divided into four. We have electrification, we have motion, we have process automation, we have robotics and discrete automation. So for electrification business, this, is, uh, this offers a wide ranging portfolio of products, digital solutions and services from substation to socket, enabling safe, smart, and sustainable electrification. So you can see here that uh, for the electrification business, we have more than uh, 50,000 employees across the globe, and it contributes um, $11 billion revenue. Second uh, biggest business is Motion. Uh, it is the largest supplier of drives and motors globally. So we provide com customers with a complete range of electrical motors, generators, drives and services, as well as mechanical power transmission products and integrated digital powertrain solutions. So for, for motion business, we have um, 21,000 employees uh, all over the world. And this is uh, the figure in terms of revenue. And of course, we have um, process automation, which um, contributes uh, 5 billion US dollars in revenue and employs 22,000 employees. By the way, uh, our process automation business offers a broad range of solutions for process and hybrid industries, including industry-specific integrated automation, electrification, and digital solutions. So it pretty much covers um, physical and internal uh, sustainable operations. Uh, robotics and discrete, uh, discrete automation is another business of ADB. And... Um, it has 11,000 employees across the, the globe. The business provides value-added solutions in robotics, machine and factory automation. I'm sure you've seen our Yumi robot. Uh, this is very much a prominent um, in our, in our uh, social and digital media assets. So you can see here, uh, we just summarize the business areas of ADB into four areas and how it's divided into um, different divisions. And this is, of course, our ABB way. Basically, ABB way is our operating model. It, uh, it shares with you the how and the purpose uh, of our company. So it provides um, standardized policies, processes, and systems, including portfolio, performance, and risk management, as well as internal control and compliance, because integrity is one of the values that we really um, pull close to our hearts here in ABB. So the ABB way, as uh, I have shared with you, is a per, uh, means performance with a purpose. And basically, this takes with you um, the how or how we operate. So we share with you that we succeed by creating superior value. We push the boundaries of technology to drive performance to new levels. And we energize the transformation of society and industry to achieve a more productive and sustainable future. ABB's uh, value may be summarized into four Cs. Uh, our values are courage, care, and curiosity. And um, this is something that uh, you, will, uh, you will immediately feel and see in our brand. And of course, sharing with you here our um, priorities. We have uh, categorized it into six. We have market leadership. We have technology and digital. We have people. Uh, we have portfolio management, we have sustainability, and of course, we have uh, financial performance. So for market leadership, we believe that it is, a key, it is the key to the long-term success of our divisions. We aim to maintain our strength or as a number one or number two position in all markets by providing our customers with leading products, systems, and solutions. So market leadership helps us to improve profitability and drive superior returns and enable growth opportunities for our people. 
Um, in terms of technology and, te and digital, our world-class technology and domain-led digital capabilities are deeply embedded in our DNA. Maintaining and improving our innovation, technology, and digital leadership is a strategic priority across divisions. Pushing the boundaries of technology and digital enables us to help our customers attain new levels of performance and clearly differentiate ABD's offering. So, but um, how do we accelerate value creation through digital? By focusing on creating superior customer value, differentiation through domain expertise, and expansion driven by businesses. Of course, one of our priorities is our people. We believe that our people are the most critical ingredient to our long-term success. We, have, we, are, we take pride in sharing with you that we have a culture of diversity, inclusion, and uh, equal opportunity, which is critical to our business success and makes us stronger. Rel sorry, relying on our people's um, unique attitude, experience, and domain expertise, we, we push the boundaries of technology to drive performance, shape new business models, and find new ways of working that make our customers, partners, and society better off. And of course, through active portfolio management, we systematically evolve our portfolio at all levels of the organization to reinforce our division's market leadership and invest by investing in growth, m and activities, and portfolio consideration. So on one hand, we continuously question whether we are the best owner of our divisions. On the other hand, we steer our businesses in line with our respective strategic mandates. And lastly, of course, we actively pursue synergistic acquisition opportunities to fill the white spots and steer our overall portfolio mix towards high growth sectors. So sustainability also, of course, remains one of our top priorities here in ABD because we believe that sustainable development means progress towards a healthier and more prosperous world for future generations. Very relevant, no, particularly at this uh, at this point in time and at, at this particular um, what do you call this uh, um, period in our history. Um, this means uh, balancing the needs of society, the environment, and economy. And then to achieve this, we act and embed this, this approach to business across our value chain to create superior value for, uh, for our stakeholders. So we push the boundaries of technology. We support our customers to preserve resources and enable a low-carbon society. And of course, we act with integrity and transparency at the core of our go governance. We promote social progress for our people and communities around the world. So basically, this is how um, how we uh, we share or we promote uh, sustainability. Um, we are rooted in purpose and we embed it in all aspects of value chain. So these three items um, perfectly summarizes uh, sustainability in ABD. And of course, we have our sustainability targets that we are striving to achieve by 2030. Uh, as I have mentioned earlier, it's um, summarized in three points. We enable a low-carbon society, we preserve resources, and we promote social progress. Okay, just sharing with you here also the executive committee of ABB. Uh, this is our, our uh, executive committee team with uh, our chief executive officer, Bjorn Rosengren, and uh, the presidents of each businesses. For uh, electrification, we have Tarak Meta. For process automation, we have Peter Perswich. I hope I pronounced that correctly. For motion, we have Morten Weirod. And for robotics and discrete automation, we have Sami Atia. And of course, we have uh, joining them are the financial, our chief financial officer, Timo Ihamotila, chief human resources officer, Carolina Granat, general counsel, Maria Barcelona, and our chief communications and sustainability officer, Theodore Swijemar. So at this point, I would like now to ask uh, my, uh, my team to please share with you this very nice video, which encapsulates our, 100, our more than 130 years of innovation of ADB. This is our, our newest video, which is also produced uh, for this year. Can you please play the video now, Neem? 
Uh, maybe we can do it again from the top. There's no sound. Thank you so much for that, uh, Charmaine and team. So I bring back the floor to you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Barbs, um, for that very extensive background about ABB that you have given us. You know what? The first time I learned about ABB, I was really overwhelmed with the capacity of the capability of the company to make things happen for us. For the first time, I've seen a company that will make sustainability, achieving renewable in initiatives, um, renewable energy initiatives for the Philippines, and energy efficiency uh, will finally happen for the Philippines. When I saw the products that they offer, I was just mind blown. So, um, I know everybody is looking forward to what's going to be happening on the first ABB Digital Summit. Um, so I would like to introduce our first, uh, our main speaker for uh, this morning. Okay, our main speaker today spent over 21 years working with ABB, a dynamic and experienced leader 
with a strong work ethic. He is also a business development expert with a solid background and track multinational track record in the areas of robotics, sales management, and key account management. Prior to his appointment to the Philippines, he was expert business development manager for ABB Robotic Systems China, Body in White Paint and Powertrain, and selected overseas markets. He also served as general manager of ABB Body in White China, delivering innovative solutions for automotive manufacturing and assembly requirements. So he also held position, the position of general manager for ABB Robotics Australia. Okay. So ladies and gentlemen, um, I, I, it's my pleasure to present the country managing director and local business manager for electrification division of ABB Philippines, Mr. Olivier Cockerell. Hello, Olivier, good morning. Hello, magandang umaga everyone. Good morning. Can you hear me okay? Perfect. Okay, thank you so much. Thanks, uh, thanks a lot for the introduction and, uh, and also for the, yeah, the slides that, that uh, Bob's uh, share with you all. So it's a very uh, absolute pleasure to be with you today. So I would like to thank you all, first of all, for your time being with us um, to understand a little bit more about our company, ABB. Um, as you said, uh, uh, Cha, it's, it's a company that has been uh, uh, operating for a long time, 130 years. Um, uh, it's not a, a company that is well known to the public, but uh, in the industry, it's, uh, we are a market leader, so we are quite known uh, to our customers. And um, we are helping the life of many people. Uh, uh, all of you have probably... Uh, uh, being uh, somehow um, impacted by a, an ABB product. So whether you are uh, taking the train uh, in, in Manila or getting electricity in Davao um, or even Visayas, um, some of our products have helped you to uh, basically get those uh, uh, basic services. So um, today is very important because um, we are launching this uh, ABB Digital Summit, uh, which is the first one in the Philippines, and I think probably the only, uh, the second one in Asia Pacific. So we are very happy to have that uh, in the Philippines. Um, so I, I will introduce in the next uh, few minutes uh, uh, who we are in the Philippines, what we have been doing, and what's important for us. Um, and then there will be some question and an answer uh, at the end of the presentation. So without further ado, let's start with a, a quick introduction so about ABB Philippines. So myself, I've been three and a half years in the Philippines. Um, so I was previously posted in China, but uh, yeah, I've, I've had the pleasure to uh, experience so far the Philippines, the food, the people, and uh, of course, the wonderful nature uh, of the country. All right, let's go to the next slide, please. Okay, next one. So first of all, um, yeah, ABB has been uh, in the Philippines for uh, more than 50 years. So I think we've opened this office uh, where I'm, I'm currently uh, uh, presenting from uh, in 1968. Uh, so we've been uh, in the Philippines for a long time. So for those who, um, who don't really know where we are, if you drive from Manila to uh, Batangas, you will see uh, our office on the right hand side near the Sukat exit. Uh, when you take uh, the, the Skyway. So that's where we are. That's our main office. Uh, but we have also offices in Davao and, and the Visayas. So 50 years in the Philippines, we've been helping basically our customers in uh, different segments. So uh, the utility space, uh, the industry, also with the food and beverage, with uh, oil and gas, um, and, uh, and metal industry, a lot of industries and also uh, transportation. So transportation, railway um, uh, in particular, but also airports. Um, so that's where we are operating. We have a number of customers uh, in, in those segments. Um, and yes, we, we have been very, uh, very much um, uh, helping them over the last 50 years. Next slide, please. So, um, yeah, I've mentioned this already, so I think we can move to the next uh, slide. So we, we have, um, 
I think if I'm not mistaken, we have more than 300 customers, active customers in the Philippines uh, from very big companies uh, like San Miguel to uh, smaller companies. So um, they have been using uh, our products in, in, uh, in many applications. Um, I said also we have three offices, so 140 people um, uh, across the Philippines. Um, we are pretty much an engineering, uh, sales and service company. Um, and we are partnering also with a key um, uh, association that are promoting basically uh, uh, the value also we share. So such as um, uh, sustainability, um, renewable energy, uh, these kind of things. So that's very important. Also, we partner with these uh, leading associations to uh, continue to improve basically the, the life of Philippines. Next slide, please. So as uh, Bob mentioned before, we have um, uh, a lot of different businesses, but in the Philippines, we really operate uh, three key business. Uh, one is called electrification products or electrification business. That's the, the business uh, uh, I'm responsible for. Uh, then we have a motion business, which is basically everything around motors and drives. Um, motors is very important, uh, electric motors. Um, uh, you might not know it, but um, just a fact, 45% of the global uh, electricity is consumed by motors. So uh, you don't see it, but uh, they are basically uh, used in many different uh, industries, whether you are in a building and they are used for air conditioning systems, whether you are in um, uh, um, a water facility like uh, Manila Water, Manilad, they have motors to pump very basically the water uh, into the network. So, and, and those motors are, are, are very um, uh, high are co consumer of energy. Uh, and, and we are doing a lot uh, about, uh, about this because we believe that uh, our technology can help to reduce um, yeah, the, the energy consumption by having very, very much uh, high efficiency motors. So that's the second uh, business. Then we have also a turbocharging and process automation. So we are doing a lot of projects uh, in that field, for example, with JG Summit in Batangas um, uh, for their petrochemical plant. Uh, we are also working with Petron, Shell, et cetera, et cetera. Next slide, please. And the next one. So, um, yeah, just uh, maybe to um, uh, yeah, give some uh, some idea of what what we have been doing. So currently we are we are executing about 200 megawatts plus of uh, battery uh, energy storage uh, uh, for San Miguel. Uh, we have sold over the last uh, 20, 30 years 5,000 uh, units of ABB drive. So the drive is basically a technology that will help uh, to drive the electric motor. So basically a, a drive will um, uh, start and stop the motor when needed. And uh, having smart drive will help also to, uh, of course, uh, reduce energy consumption. So that's very important. We are um, a global leader of drive uh, and uh, we are very happy to have so many in the Philippines. And then we have been uh, lucky to, to be uh, one of the key suppliers of the largest uh, solar farm in Luzon, uh, in Tarlac, uh, with the Solar Philippines, which has now been uh, acquired I think, by Ayala. Uh, uh, so that was in 2016, and uh, it was a 64 megawatt uh, plant. So um, this is just to give you ideas. I have more um, references like uh, we have been uh, using, we have been helping um, uh, Light Rail Manila for the uh, LRT1. Um, we have uh, products with Nestle. Um, so yeah, it's uh, it's full of products, uh, and uh, it would take probably uh, several days to go through uh, all the different products and applications. But uh, yeah, those, those are uh, key one because um, they are very specific. Uh, to the Philippines and for example, the 200 megawatt battery project is, uh, um, if not the biggest in Southeast Asia, it's probably uh, the biggest even reference we have um, worldwide um, uh, for battery storage solutions. So that's uh, that was quite impressive to have this in the Philippines. Next slide, please. And, and uh, I think Barb also mentioned this, we, um, 
we have purpose in our company and, and, and doing the right thing is one of them, doing the right thing for our employee, our customers and our community. So um, we have had a, a number of CSR activities done in the past, uh, like this ABB uh, a Global Village um, that was basically uh, uh, helping uh, building a, a village after uh, a typhoon. Um, and we have also uh, contributing to uh, yeah, the um, uh, All Mark for Life, so uh, um, by providing funds also to, to help uh, uh, cure the leukemic uh, uh, people. So, um, and uh, what is very important also for our companies is um, everything around uh, nature and environment. Uh, so we are partnering and we are um, active in that area. Um, so we have signed a number of uh, uh, CSR activities also, uh, like cleaning beaches, small things, but I think uh, we believe that small things uh, all together will help to, uh, um, to have a, a much greener future for our children. Next slide, please. So that's, um, that's our motto, basically, let's write the future together. Um, we, um, we, we, we are very much uh, thinking forward. Uh, ABB stands for basically uh, technology and innovation and, and sustainability. So all of these uh, are very important for us and they drive everything from product development to um, our behavior. So um, uh, uh, this digital summit will be very important also for, for us as a company to, to bring basically those uh, latest technology uh, and innovation in the Philippines. I mean, we have already uh, uh, implemented so many, uh, but it's, uh, it's an opportunity during those four days to cover basically um, topics where we think um, uh, we can make a big difference and which are very important for the environment and, and the, uh, the customers here in the Philippines. So now I think the next slide will be a, a, little, a little poll. So I will need uh, basically you to be uh, active and take the poll for, for, for us. Um, so we are very, um, very active in, in the building industry. We are uh, basically um, uh, developing a lot of solutions because building, uh, the building is consuming also very much a lot of um, uh, energy. I think building is, uh, the consumption is about 30% of the, the world consumption comes from buildings, uh, commercial buildings, residential buildings, and they um, contribute uh, to 40% of uh, the uh, carbon emissions. So we are, developing a lot of solutions in terms of automation um, to uh, keep the energy uh, low. Um, so I have a question for you. I think you have already uh, answered. So what is the first thing that comes to your mind when um, we talk about smart buildings? So um, uh, question, uh, answer number one is automated facilities. Uh, second one is comfortable um, work or home space. Uh, third is energy efficient facilities uh, or all, all of the above. So I, I think you can see the results already and thank you for participating. Um, uh, and uh, I think th there is all the answers are correct. Uh, so all of the above is probably the right one. Um, we, um, we believe that uh, technology, uh, building automation technology, uh, building management systems um, um, will help a lot to reduce um, uh, the consumption of buildings, but also improve the comfort of, uh, of people in the buildings. Um, there are so many things that we can, we can do. I mean, you have heard about um, carbon, carbon neutral buildings. Uh, there are now new standards uh, that are coming to, uh, uh, to place. Uh, and um, then, um, yeah, we, we are, very much uh, passionate about uh, buildings and, and we want to uh, to help also uh, you know large cities especially uh, like manila uh, davao cebu uh, to um, uh, to have more greener buildings uh, now we will have a second poll i believe are we going to have the second poll sure maybe just a second poll Okay, um, yes, that's for a uh, question on immobility. Brian, can you flash the uh, question on screen, please? Okay. 
this is one I think this is one of the most awaited part of of the um, of the forum on immobility, the immobility forum, uh, because ABB is a leader on uh, immobility worldwide. So yes, Olivier, uh, this is the yep. poll now. It's on screen. Thank you. Thank you, Charles. And I mean, do you consider owning an electric car an advantage over owning a gas power vehicle? Um, it's a very interesting question. Uh, I I came to myself to uh, embrace electric vehicle about three four years ago. I have two daughters, and uh, and uh, I think if I don't buy an, my next car as an electric vehicle, they will probably kill me. They are so uh, environmental conscious that uh, they. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's good to see the education of uh, of uh, of our children. So um, I know it's not yet in the Philippines a big thing. Having said that, uh, they are still uh, there. We can see a lot of um, uh, cities uh, investing in uh, um, uh, public uh, transport with uh, electric uh, uh, motors. So. I really believe, and I'm not the only one, that uh, electric vehicle will take uh, uh, the world by storm, and it won't be uh, uh, in 100 years. Um, you might know this, but for example, um, Ford and Volvo, they have decided to stop uh, combustion engine by 2030. Uh, General Motors will be by 2040. Um, they are now a massive investment in the USA uh, to have uh, an infrastructure of EV charger. You have, may have seen uh, uh, the Biden um, uh, instructions recently. They, they promised to have 500,000 electric charger uh, installed uh, in, um, uh, in the USA. And um, electric vehicle, uh, probably people have a wrong idea that it will take a long time to charge, uh, but L ABB is basically manufacturing uh, EV charger and we are the global leader in this. Um, and uh, we have now charger who can um, uh, charge a car, uh, electric car, like uh, maybe a Nissan Leaf, which is quite affordable, uh, in uh, less than 30 minutes. And uh, you can run now 350 kilometer um, with that car. So um, if you go and you have more money, you can buy an Audi and then you can do much more kilometers. Um, but yeah, this is basically uh, 30 minutes to fully charge the car. So it's like your telephone. Um, you don't need to full charge the car. So uh, if you stop, for example, in a, in a petrol station and they have um, uh, an EV charger, uh, just eight minutes using an ABB charger will give you 200 kilometers of uh, autonomy, which is more than enough to uh, uh, your daily commute, probably. So this is basically the, the what we call DC charger, but we have also um, individual wall-mounted charger, which are AC technology. Uh, you can have them installed at your house, uh, um, and they basically, you don't need any special um, uh, equipments. Uh, you just plug them on the on the uh, the power, um, and then those will take a bit longer. But for example, overnight, uh, seven eight hours, you'll be able to charge your car. So they they run uh, on AC uh, technology. So yeah, we are very passionate. We think it will come. Uh, it's good that the Philippines uh, started with um, uh, public transportation, so I think people would get used to um, uh, to see electric uh, cars. I think the big change is also the noise and the, the comfort. So you can imagine having a, a city without noise. Uh, uh, that would be very nice. <laughs> um, and uh, and of course. Uh, it will help the environment, but it goes together also um, uh, with uh, having more renewable energy uh, in in uh, in the grid. So if you if we continue to have um, a fossil fuel um, uh, energy, of course it doesn't help. So I think a combination of electric vehicle with more renewable energy in the grid would would be uh, fantastic. And I, I think in the Philippines there are quite good plans. Um, Today, renewable energy is about um, 29, 30 percent, and uh, I think uh, the DOE has planned 
to go to uh, um, 37 percent if i'm not wrong by uh, 2030 and almost 50 percent by 2040 so definitely having more renewable energy and using smartly uh, the energy is uh, is a way to go so um, yeah all right so now we um, i think we are done with this uh, thanks for um for taking the poll um so now uh, just a little bit more on this uh, um summit that we will have end of july so it's a four day summit we will have day one and day two we'll have forums with experts uh from the industry to talk about um electrifications uh, immobility uh, digital solutions so our plan is to bring basically uh, as, as much as possible expertise to uh, uh uh, to the Philippines and have a good interaction with uh, our customers and, and, and professionals. Um, we will talk about building uh, automation and how that can help uh, the Philippines to, uh, uh, to become even greener. Uh, we will talk about renewables, solar, um, we will talk about digital uh, solutions, which uh, for many is still a very big, buzzy uh, uh, word, but actually Actually, it's, uh, we are all using uh, digital uh, uh, solutions when we are connecting basically on, on the Facebook or something like this. So uh, uh, we will try to make it very accessible to um, uh, our audience. And um, the good thing is we've, we've managed to invite really uh, global experts from our, our company. So for example, um, on day three, um, uh, we will talk uh, about modular UPS with our colleagues from Singapore. Uh, we will talk about power quality solutions also with uh, our expert in Singapore. And we have some Indian colleagues and Italian colleagues to um, uh, present also some of the latest products that can uh, uh, be beneficial for the industry in the Philippines. Um, so it will be a, a very good opportunity um, to get up to speed with the uh, latest technology and, and for some of our clients to uh, uh, consider those technologies uh, in their uh, operations. So that's for day three. On day four, um, we will speak about uh, the smart sensor on the motors. So how we can uh, reduce basically the consumption uh, of the motors by using those smart sensors. Um, we'll have an energy efficiency forum um, with uh, our, uh, the Philippine Energy Efficiency Alliance, uh, so that we are partnering with. Um, we talk about digital service, uh, which is also a, a benefit of using digital um, uh, solutions. Um, and and we um, we will talk finally about uh, yeah, digital automation and renewables for renewables with our colleagues from from India. So it's almost like a, a cherry pick uh, uh, forum. So uh, our customers, they don't have to attend all of this, but I'm sure they will find many uh, topics that might be of interest. Okay, so I think, um, Sham, and we will probably now move to the question and answer. Is that right? Or yes. we have maybe, uh, we have yeah. Eva maybe from Australia here, from ABB Australia. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Olivier. Um, let me just check if Eva has managed to join us. I think she's having some difficulty uh, joining in, but uh, she will pop me a message once she's back in our uh, forum. So thank you for that, Olivier. Thank uh, you so much. Laymanizing everything because not everybody can <laughs> understand the text speak. So it's very good that you are uh -huh. able to make it more relatable and relevant especially for us non-tech and us non-engineers so don't you agree yeah. Charmaine <laughs> exactly Barb's yes Olivier thank you for giving us an overview of what's going to be happening for the ABB uh digital summit I I I know everybody especially our uh media wow. friends here coming from uh, Luzon Visayas and Mindanao and the media covering the national uh uh uh, media from uh, National Beat, you know, they are excited to be attending our event. When I was telling them about this, you know, uh, they're already looking at um, asking several questions already uh, because they wanted to know what kind of technology we're going to be uh, introducing during the summit. So yeah. now, Barb's, um, 